Hello, my name is Danny Joy, and today I'm going to show you how to make an NFT that will last forever. That's right, we are going to make immortal art. So I've been an artist my whole life, and I've been a digital artist for over 10 years. I started out traveling the world as an airbrush body painter, makeup artist, and I also sold paintings and t-shirts and those types of things. I realized really early on the digital tools made me a better and faster artist. So I learned Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and I started using robots to make stencils. And of course, when I learned Photoshop, it was a perfect fit for my workflow as Photoshop is essentially digital airbrushes. So I continued down this path out of pure passion and discovered artificial intelligence. And I used artificial intelligence as an art tool and a creative muse. Around this time, which is 2015, 2016, I started thinking that there must be a way to make a digital artwork rare, like an oil painting, or to make a digital original artwork. So I discovered crypto art. It was just starting at this time. There wasn't much happening, but it was a very exciting underground art movement of enthusiasts, blockchain enthusiasts. So I studied crypto art for a few years and was just a lurker until I had somebody reach out and they wanted to buy one of my favorite paintings. It was a huge honor and I was extremely excited. So I decided it was time to take the plunge into NFTs or as they're known as non-fungible tokens. So this painting was very important to me and I wanted to make sure that it was of, the NFT was of the highest quality. So I did a lot of research and I played around a lot of different platforms and I discovered something really interesting on Twitter. A lot of people were debating that a lot of the early NFTs, the images were actually disappearing because some of these platforms didn't stand the test of time. And what happened is the actual image was not stored on a blockchain. The image is stored just like the normal internet on a database that was referenced on a uh, through what's called a token URI through the smart contract. So I'll show you really quick what that looks like. So here is the Open Zeppelin documentation. This is just basically a standard for 721 smart contracts, which was the original CryptoKitties and it, which all of crypto art is based on. And then if you go to the ethereum.org, their rationale is right here. Uh, essentially what they're saying is that an NFT is like a title to a house. The house might change, but what it's really storing is the actual title. Well, this is a bit of a problem in my opinion. As an artist, I also want my image to stand the test of time. Blockchain and NFTs are great in that they have solved the problem of ownership or provenance. We know who owned it, owns it. We know if the actual artist minted it because when you sign an artwork to mint it, you're signing it with your public address. So provenance has been solved, but there's still an issue with the image. We don't want our images disappearing if a company goes under. So I did more research into this aspect of NFTs and I discovered that there's two solutions essentially. Uh, but only one of them really meets my criteria for making an image stand the test of time. So the first one is called IPFS. It's decentralized in a sense that it's spread around the world. However, the economic model of IPFS is not decentralized in my opinion because you still have to pay. Someone has to pay to pin your artworks into IPFS. So there's still a, a constant service fee. The other solution that I found is an amazing technological innovation is called Arweave. Arweave is a blockchain that's really similar to the Bitcoin blockchain, except that Arweave is designed to hold files, like digital assets. You can put all kinds of things on Arweave. You can put images, art, 
you can store code, uh, you can store diplomas. There's going to be things on our weave we haven't even thought of yet. Uh, but what makes it so innovative is that you only have to pay one time to host your file forever on a blockchain. It's amazing. This is a huge technological innovation, and I'm really excited about it. Now, Arweave has an amazing ecosystem already built of software that on top of it. I'll give you a quick glance at that, and all these links will also be in the description. So here is Arweave's GitHub right here, and they have all these code available that you can use to deploy into your smart contracts and there's apps and fortunately just by posting on Twitter I lucked out and I discovered this amazing app that's been built on our weave called R drive so here is my R drive uh, it's really awesome I have all this art already up here this is a project I did uh, free art, free is in freedom. All these are public and can be downloaded, and you can print them out. I posted it on my Twitter. It was just a fun little art experiment I did, and with exploring new economics. Um, so anybody can see these. It's on a public drive. But anyway, so here is our drive. So what I want to show you today is how we can take our drive to upload a piece of art and then use that use our drive to create an NFT that stores the link in the metadata and in a unlockable link so okay so we're in our drive here so what we're gonna do is you click on this new button and you have options here you can create a new folder you can upload files new drive attached drive uh, attach drive as you can see right here I attach to the R drive official you could attach to my free art drives that are public and it's sinking uh, a new drive is making one of one of these drives like free art or fractal Jaguar Jaguar um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new drive we'll call it toot for for tutorial short for tutorial and I want you have the option to make it private or public I want this to be public because I want people to see this so we're going to create a new drive okay so we have a new drive right here called toot and now we want to upload some art so I have this beautiful image right here called perma starry night it was made by one of the designers on our drives team Lucas Porter Baker hope I pronounced that right Lucas um, we'll take a quick look but it's also the thumbnail for our tutorial right now so we're gonna use this we will upload it so it only costs 10 cents to store this image forever that's amazing like it it blows my mind and it's it's always gonna be affordable because the cost of storage is always decreasing there's a certain pace of technology so this will always be an affordable technology to use to store things permanently so we will upload it And while it's uploading, and there we go. We got Perma Story Night. Um, it looks like I need to redo some stuff. You can't quite see. Here, let me shrink it down. So I'm going to adjust this so you can see these links um, oh, boom. so these are important sorry about that 
so right here we have download. You can I'll show you what this looks like. So now it's downloading. Um, theoretically. There we go. Downloaded four megabytes. Um, you can share the file, and this is what we really want right now. We want to copy this link. We're done. Uh, you can preview, so that shows you the image. Rename, you can rename items. You can move. Uh, you, it, this is tells you some metadata stuff like transaction ID. This is important for people who want to uh, do custom things with uh, blockchains. So it's really cool that you have access to this information easily. Okay, so now that we have this image stored on the R drive blockchain, excuse me, the R weave blockchain, thanks to R drive, we will go to OpenSea. So here's my uh, here's my OpenSea account. This is my shameless plug. Feel free to parse and see if there's anything you like. But I've got art up here. Here's an example of uh, one of my paintings. This is an AI painting that I made many years ago. Um, and I have, uh, the, in the, this is right here is the metadata, talks about the painting. And you can see I put this link right here. This link in the metadata makes your art last forever, thanks to R Weave and R Drive. Anybody in a hundred years, thousand years, somebody can go to this link and that this painting will be there and it will be in the exact same condition as the day I uploaded it to the blockchain. There will be no degradation at all in the image quality, which is actually a big problem. If you've ever seen JPEGs or memes where they start getting pixelated, this is because JPEGs, every time they're saved, they degrade because it's not a lossless format. If you upload images as PNGs or TIFFs, they don't have this problem. So that's one thing to be aware of. However, uh, so we'll go ahead, we will create. I'll show you the process. We're gonna, um, so I created a, a collection for our drive and we'll create, create a new one. So this right here is, um, the token URI. This this is stored just like a normal website is stored on a database. But that's okay because we are we are including the permaweb links inside this NFT. So we're gonna name it Perma Starry Night and Perma Starry Night Immortal Art NFT Tutorial. And we will copy the link right there. And this is a really cool feature that you can also do. You can do, you can do either of these or one of these. It's up to you. but. The unlockable content, so uh, you can add this this drive link. So if you don't want this to be public information, which some people might not want their art uh, seen by everybody or able to be downloaded by everybody, and that's fine. So you could create an unlockable content link. So what this does is whoever buys this NFT will have the option to have this link unlock, and then they then have access to the file and they can download it, they could print it, they could do whatever they want. So there's one more quick trick I wanted to show you as far as the metadata goes. This is kind of just a cool little trick, but I think it makes the NFT stronger. So here I'm in the description adding the metadata. And you remember when I mentioned you could go to, in our drive, you could go to these links here, the metadata or the data transaction. So we're going to copy data transaction ID. And to do that, I just click right there. And then I already have a notepad up. And I just typed in rweave.net 
with the forward slash and then I paste in the the at the uh, data transaction ID I copy that and to illustrate what this can do I can post it into a browser paste it into the browser and it is downloading the perma star unite so this is an actual direct link to the image on the Arweave blockchain. This isn't necessary, but it's kind of a neat workaround, and some of you might find it useful. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our metadata right here. Boom. And it doesn't hurt to go ahead and write HTTPS forward slash, excuse me, hyphen forward forward. That way it's complete. So it can be simply copy and pasted. It should work in any browser even without that, but it couldn't hurt to have it. So that's a basic NFT right here on OpenSea. Click create. And ta-da, we have an NFT. And uh, this is not owned by me, of course. This is just a test. I'm gonna actually burn this token. Um, we're talking about doing an actual giveaway because it's an awesome piece of art. But I did not make this art. It was made by Lucas, just to be clear. But for the sake of the tutorial, I thought it was appropriate. So anyways, so that's how you make an NFT using that lasts forever using our drive and our weave and there's a lot more coming in this direction we're working on a way to use our drive and our weave to um, actually have the the token URI be reflected by the de the decentralized permaweb address on our weave so that's that's coming up and I'm really excited about that because as an artist uh, I want my art to last, just like uh, Da Vinci wanted his oil. His he was experimental. He played around with new compounds because he wanted to make better paint, paint that lasted, and it didn't always work for him. But uh, like for example, uh, the Last Supper immediately began degrading when he, right after he finished it because he had uh, he experimented. Uh, so. Don't be afraid to experiment. Have fun. Uh, NFTs. There's no set standard. We're, we're all on the fringe of art and computer science, and it's a great place to be. But I have a feeling that this technology is going to last the test of time because it has sound fundamentals, and there's a huge community, and it's really awesome. So if you like this video, thumbs up, comment. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to help. Um, one more thing. I did not show is you can try uh, our weave and our drive for free so here we are rweave.org link will be in the description if you go all the way to the uh, right here which you can't see here we go you can click claim a token and you fill out this form and they will send you enough our weave to mint uh, probably roughly 200 megabytes of data as at least when I did it, that's how much I got. So this is available for everybody. And all you have to do is add it to your R drive address or your, your uh, R weave wallet, and you're good to go. You can start using R drive, and you can start using other Permanent Web apps, and you can have fun just like me. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.